can I make a video with you? No, you cannot make a video with me. Why? Because I'm doing a what I got my family for Christmas video. <laughs> and if you do it with me, then you will know all of your presents. Shoo turkey. Shoo, shoo, shoo turkey. Throw your bags down yonder. You are a goofball. Say bye to the folks. Adios. Adios, muchachos. Subscribe. <laughs> Oh, you know it's going to be one of those days recording when you get through a whole video and realize that your mic has died. <laughs> so, we're going to start this over again. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Today we are going to go over what I got from my family for Christmas. Well, not just me, but Mauricio and I. And then I'm going to talk about what Melina and I gave Mauricio as well. And we've got presents for my parents in here, so it's all very exciting. First things first, I have to talk quietly because Mauricio is sitting right across the way and I don't want him to hear me. I got him this amazing 65 inch flat screen TV for Christmas. And I know you just sucked in a deep breath and went <gasps> about the price. So let me tell you, Sam's had a one day sale at the beginning of November and it was amazing for some of the things. You know, you remember way back when, when Black Friday first started and they had amazing prices on like two items in the store. Well, this was one of them. It, it was like a third its normal price. So I went ahead. We have been discussing getting a new one for a long time because I'll tell you, Mauricio and I are getting old and our bedroom is huge. And so the distance between our eyeballs and the one across the room is probably 22, 23 feet, maybe even more. And we can't see. <laughs> so we figured bigger, we'd be able to see it while we're laying in bed. I mean, even with glasses on, I can't see it. So for my mother, we got her uh, electric wine bottle opener and a foil cutter. And then for my father, we got him a floodlight video camera it's super cool. We have it wired into a system, a surveillance system here in the house. And so we can see what's going on on all sides of the house now, which is fantastic. And I will tell you, I got this at a huge bargain. I was super excited about that. I went on Ebates and rather than just going to my standard Amazon or Walmart, I searched Ebates for the cheapest price. And would you believe I found a place that had this only one place, I think it was the Home Shopping Network, had it for $50 less than everywhere else. Not even joking. And then they had a coupon and then I was able to get Ebates with it. So I think in the end, it probably cost me like $190 and it was normally $250. So yeah, I was super excited about that. Let's get into Lena. This pile over here, I have them divvied up by from mommy and daddy and from the jolly fat man over here. On Friday nights in our house, we like to do a family night. And sometimes it's Saturday, but most of the time it's Friday. And lately, instead of watching like family movie night, we have been playing board games. Melina loves them. It allows her to get up and jump around and scream and holler and have, <laughs> I got presents attacking me over here. And it, it really, is it's more engaging, more fun for Melina. So we're going to keep doing a lot of that. So we are giving her a, a ton of board games for Christmas this year. So, and card games. So the first one is Uno, which is awesome. If you've ever played Uno, love it. Then we're getting her Jenga, which is equally as awesome. Very cool. I have never actually played Jenga, but I imagine it's going to be a lot of fun. We're a very competitive bunch here. Although I think Mauricio and Melina will have a distinct advantage because part of my dystonia involves shaky hands. So I never win at games of, of not shaky hands. Like Operation, as a kid, I could never play. We got her Clue Jr. I have no idea if it's a super fun game or not, but Clue is an awesome game. So Clue Jr., how could it be bad? We got Rummy Cube. Have you ever played it? I love this game. I used to love it as a kid. It's kind of like playing poker. We got Ker Plunk, which should be easier for me to play than Jenga, but it's similar concept, I guess. We got Yahtzee, which this was one of my favorite games as a kid. Oh my goodness, we used to play this all the time when I was a kid. We got Sorry, which is also a great game. 
So I saw this game when I was buying the other games and I was like, what is that? But it had like a five star rating and truthfully Blockus also was that way. And we love Blockus. I cannot recommend that game enough. So I highly recommend that game. If you're looking for a game that, to play with probably four people is best. We play it with three and it works out. Um, but it is so much fun and there's always yelling and laughing and giggling and strategy and attack daddy. And then as we all know, Melina's avalanche. Then we got her a daisy uniform for her American girl doll, a brownie uniform for her American girl doll and a girl scout uniform for her American girl doll. So we have actually given these as gifts to a few of her little friends that have American Girl dolls and are in her Girl Scout troop. But they're so adorable. And then we gave her this from American Girl doll. Not even joking. It is a made to scale Xbox console with gaming chair, headphones, and little games. My daughter and her father are gamer dorks. I love them, but yeah, they are total, total gamer dorks now. And so I think it's great. They have such a good time bonding together. So I thought this was a great gift for her dad to give to her. And to go along with that, remember the Nintendo Switch that her father got for her? Well, we have gotten her Pikachu and we also got her Minecraft. The Minecraft hasn't gotten here yet. And so I said Pikachu, Pokemon. It's a Pokemon game. I don't know. It's a game. You play it on a little Nintendo Switch, which I barely even know what that is. So we got her a couple of those. And so she will be super excited to have new games to play on her Switch. Right now she lives, eats, and breathes Mario Kart. And then uh, we got her LOL dolls. Now, why for? Because CVS, FYI, at least in our area, CVS, always has, almost always has two for one LOL dolls. And so I got two, so $20, I get four LOL dolls, which is a wonderful price. Cause at Target, they are even more than that. And she would love them. I don't, I don't know that I see the allure in these. I guess they're cute, but the little puzzles are fun for them to open up. So she got four of those from us. And then I will tell you, this last thing is my favorite thing to give her. And it was a total, random spur of the moment purchase. I was at Michael's getting some decorations for my Christmas tree at work and I saw this on the clearance shop and it was normally, I think 65 bucks, I got it for 24. It's a lab set. So it comes with a microscope and all of the chemicals to make these things. Like it says, make a cloud in a jar or make liquid glass. I am super excited about this. She loves science and I am all about promoting her love of science. So now this is coming from Santa. So I'm not going to go through all of these. We got her for Polly Pockets. She has wanted these Polly Pockets since her birthday, since before her birthday, but we got her presents early. And so we went ahead and did not give her the Polly Pockets, but she's getting them for Christmas. She has been talking nonstop about these. She loves them. Then Santa is bringing, it's called the Twas the Night Before Christmas set. So it comes with a little book and a tray of cookies and a carrot, the reindeer and a cup of milk and a bathrobe for the doll. So, and then we got her the American Girl doll game night set. And that comes with some games and a little tray. Then we got her toss across, which is like active tic-tac-toe. And then this is actually from a friend of mine. It was her daughter's and she never used it. And it is a, a smart girls coder kit. So she can program the app on her iPad and it actually will drive the scooter around. I think she's going to love this. She loves gaming. She loves, she loves electronics. So I think she is going to love this. I mean, a lot, a lot. This is what Melina has been begging for since her birthday party. This is a actual remote controlled vehicle that actually drives and it will drive her dolls around until she drives it over the stairs and they go crashing to their death. <laughs> she has been talking about this as like the number one present that she wants. And so I was 
happy to get this one for her because originally it was $250 and it was on sale for $200. And then I had another 25% discount. So it was 150 plus tax. I was like, yeah, I'll get that. So that is her big present this year from Santa. And that's all I got for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.